So, in the previous video we showed you the end of this trail. Now we're going to go and show you the walk to that spot, which is not bad. Coco's tired because she's been running all through the field. And that's a good sign that she's tired. Come on! <laughs> she doesn't get tired. And this trail's not tiring, but for her, since she runs all around the place, it's different. Huh? That's a little bit of a slick spot, so Chris is going to help me. Since I'm recording, he's uh, holding both the walking sticks. And Coco's waiting for us, like a good girl. She always does. Go pups. I don't know how we would survive without it. We wouldn't. She's our little baby girl. Thank you. You can tell she's tired. She doesn't usually lay down like that. Beautiful day today. It is. With all the rain we got, they conduct it amazing. Yeah. I'm going to go home and watch the 49ers kick the Detroit's butt. It's going to be a perfect day. Now we're going to go in this little hole up here. Coco, show us the way. What, is there someone up there? No, I just want to start up here. I can't go to the other side. So. I put it on and now I'm going to worry about it. Oh, it's cooled off in here some. <laughs> You're not parking your butt on the trail. Mushrooms. Yep, there's some mushrooms in here. See, the sun doesn't get back in here very good, so that's why it's all cool looking. We went back in there for a little bit earlier on the way, and there's a lot of mushrooms, but a lot of webs too. I'm not really a, I'm not really into the web thing. And we didn't see any chanterelles or hedgehogs or anything like that. But they all are, they are all over the place, which is still exciting. Kind of cool. funny I've always gone to the other side of this trail and the other side's cool too but this one wins 100% with 
coming out to that bluff and the view that you get off of there. And then this walk, this is it's not a hard walk. Nope. And I'm sure when we get into chanterelle season and lobster and all the mushrooms we have yet to get that we'll be able to find some in here. You just gotta watch your steps in here because there's some roots. And I'll show you up here a little bit further. Gets pretty, pretty rooty. Like right here. Psh. No, she's getting better and better about walking on the leash and staying with us when she's off the leash. Yep. She knows that she's supposed to stay with us and I think, you know, part of her just wants to make sure we're okay and protect us and the other part, she's like, I haven't been without these people. I need to stay with them. You know, I just told you that kind of went back with you as a kid. Always come back. Yeah. Very well kept trail. And even when it's been raining like crazy for a week where the roads are given way, this trail is still walkable. Doesn't have a bunch of puddles or there's just a couple mushy spots. Might have been one. Now it's all mushy, but maybe not. I don't know. I also would love to find morels and black trumpets and all those, but we're still at the very beginning of our mushroom foraging we haven't really I mean it's been what a few months of us just yep. looking yeah that'd be funny yeah, got purple dogs. yep here's some more roots I think they look cool. See, that's all the mushiness. There's really not that much. And then, see, not that bad, not that long. It's as long as you make it. You could spend hours out on that bluff and still want to keep going, but here we are at the end. So if you liked, please hit the like and subscribe button and we'll keep showing you these really cool trails. Anyway, see you later.